We've been trying to depart Isla Mujeres, but the northerly friends have been coming one after another. coming you were like and then we anchored and we were like ma maybe it was a dud we got very calm and the calm was before the storm obviously and a neighbor just went whiz past us i tried grabbing him unfortunately my grip wasn't strong enough i tried to put a rope on him and and he just went whiz past us amazing how he didn't take off my the, the rod and he's or, still going i mean he's got a long runway just mud and runway in here, so that's good. Si, aquí dentro el vecino viene de volar. Me paso por el lado, casi me pasa por arriba, wey. He can't hear you.
Finally, a weather window was appearing to form, where the northeasterly wind would turn a bit from the southeast, letting us move north across the Gulf Stream before more northerlies would come through eventually again. In the meantime, we would wait through the messy winds. And we would see this neighbor later, under scarier circumstances, but that's for the next video. For now, it was time to organize our maritime departure from the country of Mexico. During our time here on the Atlantic coast of Mexico, we have enjoyed visiting Shan Can, Puerto Aventuras, Cozumel, Isla Mujeres, Rio Lagartos, and Progreso. It's a challenging coastline with relatively few anchorages, but the rewards have been magical places with ancient histories and vibrant present-day culture. To check in and to check out of this side of Mexico, the easiest place to do so is at Isla Mujeres. The procedure goes something like this. First, you walk to the port captain's office along the small island's waterfront and tell them that you are arriving or departing the country. The next office to go to is immigration to tell them the same thing. Although you will probably need to visit the photocopy shop in between because both government offices require several photocopies of all your documents, including photocopies of documents that they will give you to fill out when you arrive there. It's nice that everything is within walking distance because you will likely need to get photocopies of documents that you will not have in advance and then return back to the port captain again. You will then need to pay the check-in or check-out fees at the nearby bank and then walk the port captain documents over to immigration. It will then be possible that you will need photocopies once again to bring to Cancun, where later on you may need to get or to cancel your vessel's temporary import permit. It is possible to hire an agent at some of the island's marinas that will take care of most of the process for you, but an agent is not required. After the checkout dance, it was time to fill up on water and fuel at the boatyard located in the center of the island And then with the very last of our funds, we bought some food from the Chedrawi grocery store nearby. At the earliest possible moment, we were off to make the best of our weather window. That same morning, this fancy yacht was arriving in Cancun. Our lovely neighbors gave us a wonderful Christmas gift of old seat cushions the night before, so this trip was off to a great start. Heading straight for the Gulf Stream, we started to see freighter traffic.
The seas were feeling quite lumpy to me, but Robbie kept on fishing. You think it's a sailfish? Yeah. It's really big and it's swimming along. It's like not even known. No, it's like what's going on? It hasn't even, even woken up yet. Oof. A lot of them went though, hey? So that shelf, the whole thing came down, but you put it back up? We have to keep it all down. Keep it all down on the floor, even though it's not very nice to keep it on the floor. A reminder that if you think something needs strapping down or more secure stowing in your boat, it probably needs that extra support. Good job either way, Robbie. Oh, lots of birds. Oh, the lines are gonna go off, baby. We're in fully fishing territory. Oh, yeah. The dolphins are here. The birds are jumping. Two lines. You want to pull up the other head? Uh, You're bleeding it overboard? Yeah. I'm happy we have these cushions. Our checkout took two days, a day and a half, just because our paperwork on this boat was not all, all that simple. You can't technically buy a foreign vessel in Mexico. In order for a foreign vessel to be bought, well, it will have a tip on it. It will have a temporary import permit if it's legally in Mexico, this foreign vessel. So you have to basically cancel that, have that canceled. But usually when a boat is being bought and sold, you know, in a foreign country, not everybody is there. The owner is not there. So we tried to do some paperwork to make sure that the vessel could be checked out and try to cancel the tip of the vessel here while we're in Mexico. But yeah, it didn't go that, <laughs> it didn't go as simply as you, you would hope it to go. And our checkout took two days because of that. Immigration was easy for us and should be easy for everyone because if you're legally here in the country, the checkout is, is five minutes. Now here's the easy part, sailing. For our forecast, we're an anticipating that the winds will become more and more southerly. 
which will run along with the current the Gulf Stream and make the seas more flat. But to start out, well, last night we could hear the winds howling from the northeast and then turning slowly from the east and then eventually more southeast. And I, d I don't think it had time to calm down yet, hey? Maybe a Dorado? Yeah, no, yeah. I mean, this is how much we can point into the wind, right? You can point a bit more, you know, but, but then when the wind, when the gusts pick up, it's comfortable. The wind vane was a real champ for keeping us steady on our course. Robbie was the real MVP for cooking up those broken eggs in a real shaky kitchen and sloppy sea situation. I might be able to slap a few pieces of fish on tomorrow on it. Yeah, if it's like this or anything similar, I think we could cook the fish, but... Very simple. Yeah, just fried fish. For now, we got the eggs. They broke. Broken eggs. Forced, forced egg on that. Mm -hmm. Into the first night of our Gulf Stream crossing we sailed, with plenty of fish in the cooler, plenty of wind in our sails, and more fried egg for dinner than we expected. There's no rice in it, right? No. 